Hello there guys and girls, my name is Rob Skillian and welcome yourselves back to another internet video. And today we're going to be covering a topic that I think is quite important, a topic cover. Um, and that topic is streamer burnout and how the community reacts to it and how we should react to it and how we should not react to it. Now, if you're wondering what streamer burnout means, I define it in multiple ways. But the one that I want specifically want to concentrate on is game fatigue. And for streamers that play one single game consistently every single stream, know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you watch a streamer that plays only one single game every freaking stream, you should be listening because maybe you need to have a conversation with your streamer. <laughs> Just like, sit down, boys and girls. Grandpa Raskin is going to have a conversation with you about mental health. Jokes aside, and that wasn't a joke. It was just some silly voice I did. Yeah, it's an important topic because the reason I'm making this video is because a friend of mine, not really a friend, a streamer that I know on TikTok, and he vaguely knows my existence, Tommy Juice, who is a round about 99%, let's say 99.99% Call of Duty Warzone player. And he's made big numbers on TikTok, and Twitch is also being not bad for him. But he has been streaming almost to the day, every single day, Call of Duty Warzone, every single time. And he's making content, he's been pushing himself, he's been working hard to get that attention he's deserved to get. But he just posted a video saying he's done with Warzone. He's officially tired of Warzone. He can't handle it anymore because of his mental health. Let's say... 90% of his comments were, I, I love 90 for some reason, 90% of his comments were, oh, dude, that's really cool that you're stopping and taking care of yourself. We'll watch you whenever I want. And like, oh, yeah, you're going to play Subnautica. That's pretty cool and stuff like that. But there was one comment that stood out to me. It was like, oh, no, okay, I guess it's a goodbye for me too. Bitch, this is not about you. This is about someone that gives you free content on a daily basis taking care of themselves. If you watch a streamer just for the one particular game, you're not watching the streamer because of that game. Let me try to rephrase it. You're not watching the streamer. You're just watching the game. That's it. You just want to see the game. Go play the game. Don't watch a content creator. Now, I know how this feels like because when I used to play Rust consistently, I stopped streaming Rust, my numbers fell. I played Valorant almost every day. I stopped playing Valorant, my numbers fell. And it's understandable. Sometimes you just don't like the game the person's streaming. But if you like the content creator, then you'll watch them for the content that they're making, for the for the personality. And that's what content can yeah. And that's why you should be watching a streamer. If you're wondering why I'm stuttering halfway through and cutting myself off, because I'm not editing this video. I'm doing a live recording with the pause and resume button. I'm a lazy fucker right now. But this is this is this is crazy. Like how people react to it. Like the, the the balls that some of these people have. They're like, oh, you're not gonna do the thing I like anymore. I'm not gonna watch you. A good example of how bad this can go. Do you know that guy that sings the All Star song, the from Shrek? Hey now, you're a copyright. Nah 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 nah. He literally had a mental breakdown on stage. Because people kept asking him to sing the same song. Musicians that had one-hit wonders absolutely despise the fact that they have to go perform because they're going to be asked to sing the same fucking song again. I love how I started this video. I didn't swear, but now I'm like full-on swearing. <laughs> but for reals, though, we, 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 don't, we need to be more sympathetic to content creators and musicians and creators when it comes to this kind of thing. Like, if someone wants to branch out and try to reinvigorate themselves for something that they do for free let's be honest the majority of the streamers you watch unless they're like big boys like shroud and stuff like that are doing this on their own time and their own dime and they're most likely w losing time with family and friends to do something that they absolutely love and feel has become a drag and that is there's nothing worse than that happening you feel the thing that you absolutely have such a great passion for has become sad. So if you really, 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 really want to support your content creator, support them. If you don't like the content that they're making, 
just go. The best way you can go is by just saying, I'm go not even saying, just don't even tell them they're going to go. Just leave. Because if you comment, this is more, this has become a rant, hasn't it? It has. If you comment, <laughs> if you comment, oh, uh, because if you're, okay, I guess it's goodbye for me too. I got confused which buttons were which. <laughs> that streamer is going to see that and be like, am I making a wrong decision? He can see the majority of the positive comments, but that one negative one is going to be like, he's going to doubt himself or herself. And then that person is going to be like, oh, I shouldn't do this decision. And they're going to go back on their word and play the game that they absolutely hate. And then they're going to lose more viewers because there's not enthusiasm in the content. Because if you want to be really honest, playing Warzone with a very brand boring fucking content face and being like, Ugh, Ugh, <laughs> people won't find that entertaining because the person doesn't have the love and energy. Unless you're like fucking Shroud, you know, like God tier kills here, jump, jump, foo, foo, pew, 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 pew. no. Most of us content creators rely on our personalities to keep you guys watching. And I say this with a bit of caution, but the majority of the people that comment and say this stuff in other people's streams or on their videos or TikToks are around the age of 15 to 16 years old. And it's important that as a person developing, you need to know what you like and dislike. But we dislike that. Okay, and you need to know that there are other people out there on the other side of the screen that have human minds and hearts and feelings. So don't be a dickhead when it comes to commenting. I've gone off another fucking tangent. So please, if you want to leave the content creators community because they're not playing the game that you want them to play, fine. Just go silently. Be like a silent fart. You leave the asshole. And no one notices it until the stink starts to appear. I don't know where the analogy went. Someone's going to complain about my analogy. God damn. And I myself am going through the same situation now recently because I felt my content was becoming dry and stale. Obviously, I was having fun still with Valorant. I don't think there has been a point where I'm like, ah, I'm fuck it. Well, a few times. A few times I uninstalled the camera because I like rage quit, but that's not the point. Kind of is the point, isn't it, though? I'm just kidding. I'm starting to go in the direction of playing more different kind of games so the content is fresh and new and people are enjoying it. And I've asked the community, hey, you guys tell me what you want me to play. And I have so many good recommendations for horror games, single-player games, and I'm so excited for the future because I know that someone's going to come with the same thing that I just talked about. And I don't want to deal with it. Got a little emotional there. But anyway, um... Yeah, so I'm going to be playing Borderlands 3, and I think I'm going to finish the new Resident Evil game that came out a few mo few years ago. I think it's like last year or something. Like that. I don't know. I'm not editing this video. I'm not going to put any fucking other things in this video. This is going to go straight up raw onto the internet. Because why? Because I don't have the attention span to edit. Look, I'm going on another tangent about another topic, which I not should be doing. I should not be doing. I just cut myself off there. Holy shit. <laughs> anyway... So, thank you for watching this video. If you have any thoughts about this topic and you feel like, hey, Repskillion, you're totally wrong. You shouldn't have talked about it this way. You should have talked about it that way. Or maybe something this way. Why? What, what is this? What is this? <laughs> I just noticed my screen was on my screen. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below or in the TikToks below. And, or if you're watching this on TikTok, um, uh, stitch this. Stitch me. Stitch me. It's not really on TikTok, is it? Anyway, love your face with a bit of pie, and I'll catch you boys and girls in the next video. I stream every Friday, Saturday, Sun, uh, Friday, Saturday from 8.30 p.m. to 12 p.m. midnight, BTST, uh, British Standard Time. All right, boys and girls, take care. Love you. Bye-bye. Uh,